When you look at the sea and the ocean on the map, you might just think that they just flow into each other. It seems that it's just one big ocean, but people just gave different names to its parts. Well, you'll be amazed that how vivid the borders are between them. The borders between the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean is a line that separates two worlds. It looks as if two oceans meet at an invisible wall that doesn't let them flow into each other or mix their water. But why on earth that happens? Let's find out more on To The Fact. We know that there is no invisible wall inside and water is just the water. But what interferes them mixing together? One can see by their color that they are far from being the same. The border between two water bodies with different physical and biological characteristics are known as ocean clines. There are several types of ocean clines like the pycnocline where there is a difference between water density. There is also thermocline where there is difference between water temperature. There is also chemocline where there is difference in water chemistry. Another type of cline is halocline where there is difference in water salinity and there is lutocline where there is difference between water turbidity. Halocline borders are the most spectacular borders that is what we see when the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean meet. The famous explorer Jack Costo found this when he deep dived into Strait of Gibraltar. The layers of water with different salinity looked like they were separated with a transparent film. Halocline appears when the water in one sea is five times more saltier than the other. Do you want to create a halocline at your home? Then just take a glass of water and add five spoons of salt in it along with some color and then add fresh water on top of it. You'll clearly see that both of those water doesn't mix with each other. So in this experiment you'll notice that the halocline created is horizontal but in the case of ocean and seas it's always vertical. So why is that so? So the first reason for that is density of the water. So the density of the water is not considerably different that they could go on top of each other. The second reason is inertia. As the earth moves, the water flows into different direction for both the oceans. Don't you think though that it's only the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean that doesn't get along with each other? There are a lot of places on the planet where the two seas or the river doesn't mix. There are also thermocline borders between waters of different temperature like the warm water of Gulf Stream and the cooler water of North Atlantic Ocean. Chemocline are the most amazing as the water has different microclimate and chemical makeup. The Sargasso Sea is the biggest and the most widely known chemocline. It is a sea that has no shore and it is in the Atlantic Ocean but you got no chance not to notice it. Let's have a look on the most spectacular clines on the planet. The North and the Baltic Sea are separated by Pycnocline in Denmark. Sometimes you can see the waves of two different sea clashing into each other making foam due to density difference. The Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean are separated by thermocline. The place where these both ocean meets, it looks like someone has painted the water with different shades of blue. In Bahamas, when both of these water meet, the Caribbean Sea water is turquoise and the Atlantic Ocean water is dark blue. We have many more such examples where the water doesn't mix with each other and those least you can see on the screen. Before we move ahead, do like this video and subscribe to our channel so that it motivates us to bring some valuable content to you guys. I hope that you learned something new today. Do let us know in the comment section what do you think about this informative video. Did you know that the data that you are seeing in your computer or the laptop is flowing under the ocean around the wall? If not, then do check the video over here. That's it for today guys. See you in the next one. Take it easy.